Hi guys, my name is Barton. Welcome to your third tutorial on ISO 8583. So in this particular video, we're going to create two interfaces. The first interface is going to be field and the second one is going to be called compound field. So go to your field package here and create a new interface called field and add this particular method. So these methods are generally self-explanatory. So this is going to allow us to set a value so if this field is field 0 and we want to set 0, 0800 as the value that's what we pass here we can also get that value we can use this method to encode that value so for example if it's 0, 0800 and we want to encode it using ascii well this method is, is going to do that to us it is going to do that for us rather and it's going to return the encoded value now the decode method does the reverse it takes the head of a string and then decodes it into the value that we want and then returns the index where the next field should be decoded from right so that's what decode does so the set encoded value also just sets that encoded value directly if you have it and you can also get the encoded value right so a compound field inherits from a field so a compound field is a field so basically a compound field is a field that has other fields in it so uh, if you look at this config file i mentioned that an iso field can have a list of other fields right so in this particular case a compound field is analogous to this okay because a compound field is going to be an iso field whose list of ISO fields is not empty, okay? So the operations that we can perform on a compound field is we can set the value of a subfield, okay? So if we have the whole message, remember we are treating the whole message as a field. So if I have the whole message, I can set a subfield of the message. So if I have the whole message, and it's a then I'm treating it as a compound field which means the first index is 0 so if I want to set field 0, 0.0 which is the MTI then I'm going to uh, I'm going to pass here the field ID as 0 because the compound field is field 0 it's the first field and then the MTI is also field 0 and the value is 0, 0800 okay i can also get that particular value if i pass 0 here and 0 here i'll be able to get the mti's value from that particular message i can also set the field so assuming instead of setting a value i already have a field with that value set then i can just pass in the value and the field id so in this case if i want to set the mti of the message then I would call set field on the compound field and pass in zero. Then here I would pass in that particular field. Then I could also get the field. Okay. So that's it for this particular video. Uh, but uh, just before we go on to the next video, uh, since we have time in this particular tutorial, go ahead and create two classes. So there's a class here called pack exception. And another class here called unpack exception so basically these are exception classes that we are going to use in future tutorials so a pack exception is just an exception that we are going to throw anytime when we are unable to pack a message okay or pack a field an unpack exception is an error that we are going to throw anytime we are unable to unpack a message or to unpack a field okay so go ahead and create these two classes under the field package okay so that's it for this particular video guys uh, in the next video we'll be creating our first field which we are going to call fixed num field we might also be able to do a first test where we'll be passing uh, an iso field uh, which is going to be a numeric field in this particular case, a fixed numeric field. So guys, that's it for this particular video. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.